Our nation's heroes are fighting here at home. The Homeowners Assistance Program, known as HAP, was supposed to protect troops from foreclosure. Instead, many find themselves underwater on their homes. Fox News legal analyst Bob Massey outraged by this. Talked to one lawmaker, and they are hoping to make a change. My understanding is to take care of this entire problem would cost about one billion dollars. So this is one thirty-seventh of one percent of the federal budget that would cure uh, this entire problem for all of the deserving military families. I think we should just do it and stop talking about it. All right, uh, Bob joins us now from Las Vegas. Bob, why is it necessary for Congress to get in the picture as opposed to the Defense Department? Because the Department of Defense really has not stepped up to the plate the way they should have, Brian. This whole thing is ridiculous. Listen to that number compared to what we're spending for foreign countries. These people are now faced with having to have homes that are foreclosed on, stuck with the deficiencies, and the military is going through the retirement and their savings, and they're giving no precedent whatsoever to those men and women who are deployed or relocated. And we really, as Americans, should be outraged at our militaries in this spot. Well, you're highlighting it, and we, that helps. What about the lenders? Why don't they step up uh, to the plate and, and do something for the military? You know what, Brian? The lenders recently, several lenders recently, had to repay millions of dollars for wrongful foreclosures on military families. They are so far removed from reality, not only with the military, Brian, but at the civilians that you and I have talked about for the last several months. This is just another indication that these lenders, really, who were given billions of dollars to mm -hmm. bail them out, have no concern whatsoever. They, that sh this should not be congressional. This should be lenders having protocols in place to help the military families not to worry about deficiencies against them to help save their credit mm -hmm. to have them not have to go through this worry of leaving families and children right. and going to defend this country uh, it's ridiculous and, and it's and, happening and those families have already sacrificed so much now did the senate Absolutely. did the senate armed service committee help you at all did they step up to the plate no this really what aggravates the heck out of me they did not do what we call a markup for the budget. And you heard what Congressman Andrews, who should be commended, they have not even earmarked the amount of money that needs to be earmarked. So I asked him, what could we do? And he said there are other legislative things through the Senate that they're going to try to get this HAP program taken care of for our military. The, he said by the end of the summer or September. What I asked him is what senators would vote against this? We're going to find out who is against this program mm -hmm. and try to expose this to keep this thing going because this is not right for our military, Brian. And Bob, I think one call to uh, Senator John McCain. He has a way of fixing stuff like this. I'd like to see that I happen. Hope so. He's on the Armed Services Committee. Bob Good Massey, idea, buddy. Good thank idea. you so much. Great work.